Ekaterina Gerbold hopes that Anna Shcherbakova and Alexandra Trusova will return to the ice. I want to believe that they will find the strength and motivation in themselves to continue to prove something to themselves and others. They are bright figure skaters, and everyone will be happy to see them on the ice arena as active athletes, Gerbold said. Katerina Gerbold spoke about the reasons for the sport's longevity of Elizaveta Tiktamashiva. This is more a question for her and her coach, Alexei Mishin, but probably her strength lies in the fact that she grew up in a slightly different reality, more calm. She grew up among people like me, and we did not have such a race for elements that are now being made. We couldn't even think about it. I don't know if she will go to the quadruple or not, but as far as I know, periodically or regularly she performs it in training. She has a very experienced coach, who, if he sees that the element is ready, he can insert it into the program," said Gerbolt. Poland forms a coalition of 36 countries against the admission of Russians to international tournaments. This was announced by the Minister of Sports of the country Kamil Bordnichik. We are in the process of forming a coalition of 36 countries. On May 15, we have a meeting of the EU Sports Council, where we also plan to adopt a declaration that will clearly oppose the return of Russians and Belarusians to the international arena," Bordnichik said on RMFFM. On March 28, the International Olympic Committee IOC, recommended that Russian athletes be admitted to international tournaments in a neutral status. This does not apply to command types, representatives of law enforcement agencies and those who supported the hostilities. Tatyana Tarasova commented on the news about the creation of a coalition of countries against the admission of Russia. This is their decision. What do we care? Form? The flag is in their hands. No one will listen to anyone on this issue. Everything depends on the Olympic Committee and the decisions they make, and not from any Poland with any 36 countries," Tarasova said. Ilya Averbik spoke about star fever among athletes. Silver medalist of the 2002 Olympics, choreographer and producer performed at the Educational Marathon Knowledge. First in Arkhangelsk. Any person who has achieved a result has a period of star disease. The question is its duration and upbringing, laid down by parents and, of course, by the coach. I take fame partly as luck. When we won the World Junior Championship at 15 and I returned from Colorado Springs to my school, I was allowed to go without a shift, it was the finest hour. There was a large assembly hall, and I was telling what the World Cup in America was like, and this was during perestroika. Star disease is the enemy of development, everyone goes through it," said Averbeck.